going to be a general love reading for the sign of Libra. Hi, Libra. All right. So we're just going to dive right in. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> I just read for Aries. Now we are reading for Libra. All right. What's Libra got going on? If you are new to my channel, whenever you find this reading, it's for you. All of my readings are timeless. And if you are a past subscriber, welcome back. Mm -hmm. Okay, reading now for Libra, please. Four cards from this deck. Four cards from the Rider right Waits. Thank you for allowing me to be the first channel for source messages. Let's get it in. <coughs> Excuse me. I hope you can hear me well because I have my air conditioner rolling. Really? <laughs> that came out of super quick. <laughs> Libra, what in the fuck? It's a little male mosquito fan around here. Oh no, what's happening? <laughs> so, we have the lovers. This is the very first card that came out for you, Libra, is the lovers, okay? But then we got the Eight of Cups. So, and Seven of Swords. What is going on with, oh my God. The High Priestess, wow. Okay. So, the lovers. Could be one of two things. It could be a new connection, which just came in for you. Or it can be a choice that was made in love. Now, with the surrounding cards, I see Eight of Cups seven of swords and the high priestess so what this is telling me is you had to make the choice to walk away from something and for whatever reason it was um i don't know the main reason why you had to walk away from this connection but for me it i mean i the Seven of Swords always means some type of dishonesty. So obviously, um, someone wasn't being quite honest with you, Libra. And so you had to make a choice to sort of walk away. You had to turn around and walk away. And the High Priestess shows me that you... This person, whoever they were, like, they, they weren't... They thought they could pull one over on you and you're just too smart for that Libra. Like your intuition is way too, <clears throat> your intuition is way too strong. There's no way that they were ever going to be able to hide anything from you. <clears throat> okay. There's the lover's card. This is the eight of cups. So look, these energy of like having to move forward. I mean, it's the energy of like having to move forward, being sad about it, but still having to move forward and make the correct choice. Because look at this sneaky, sneaky, sneaky person. I didn't know if that was a female mosquito. All right, look at this little sneaky person trying to get away with something. See, this is a seven of swords. See, and see the energy, the energy is of like someone trying to get away with something, someone not being honest about something. Look at how sneaky this little, and it's a literal rat. You ever heard that saying, like, you sneaky rat? That's the energy. It's like someone trying to, I mean, even look at the rat's face. It's like, he's like, mm -hmm, trying to get away with something. Oh, my contacts are bugging me. I'm sorry, they're dry. All right, so, but it came out with a high priestess. So, you knew about it this whole entire time. And you, you just like let them dig, dig their own grave. You were just like, really? You really think? <laughs> you really think? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, let's see if they're going to let me know anything more about this connection. Okay. Can we get any more cards for Libra? About this connection? Hold on one second. What is going on? So itchy right there. Did I just get bit by something? My whole arm just swelled up right here. And it's really weird because it doesn't feel like an insect bite. It's like swelling up in three spots. That's very strange. Right on my tattoo. I don't know why. Okay. One more card, please. Strange. All right, so this connection, it, it wasn't in vain. Um, this connection taught you to be extremely independent and, sorry, I'm just watching the bugs fly around. So this connection, they're so distracting. It taught you how to be very independent and how to sort of not let your emotions run away with you. You learned a lot from this connection, okay? And I feel like with it came <clears throat> not just the lesson of sorting, starting to find your independence, um, learning to um, control your emotions and not let them get away with you, sort of letting your head rule along with your heart, but also a lot of really important lessons of self-love like this feeling of you know this person was always you know trying to manipulate me and sort of um lie to me and and do things that were not always like um <laughs> almost inhaled that bug <laughs> sorry so this person was not always doing things that was in your best interest. So you 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 learned that, you know, you had to love yourself more than you loved this person. I hope that makes sense. So <laughs> that's that emperor card. That's you learning to be independent, um, standing in your power. It's beautiful energy, Libra. And then the chariot, this shows me that you've learned to control those conflicting emotions your heart might be pulling you this way but your head is saying this is not i'm not sure that this is the right thing and normally you would just let your emotions run away with you it was like oh i'm in love blah, and you just like fly head on in head long in but the chariot is about learning to have self-control it's learning to control those emotions no matter how strong they are and this is a beautiful lesson to learn okay and then we have the two of cups so this could mean literally that another connection is coming in with a soulmate or a twin flame because two of cups is the cup of love, right? It is the cup of love, the, the cup. <laughs> so, um, or it could represent self-love for those of you Libras that are not re quite ready to move forward after this manipulative shit that you were going through um, with this person. You know, for those of you that aren't ready to move on, you know, it, it could be self-love, you know. But for those of you that are ready, I do see an energy coming in, <laughs> just so you know. Okay, so we're going to move on to the Rider Waite. All right, do we have anything for our single Libras? Let's do something for our single Libras. Do, 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 do. Four cards. Hello, little bug. Six of little tiny minuscule moth running across my table. So cute. Four cards for our single Libras. We have anyone coming in for our singles. Let's see. Page of Swords. Ah! <laughs> Alright, so. 
a card fell and hit the floor. So that is a side energy card. It's a side hoe. We going to keep it for you, Libra. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> oh my God. For you single Libras, you're not going to be single for long. Let me just tell you that, okay? Because for one, the side hoe energy that came out, I always call it the side hoe. <laughs> oh my God, please not again. <sighs> Give this more. Oh, you know what? No, it's because of the seven of cups. It's okay. I was, I thought it was, oh, I thought it was the seven of, <laughs> I thought it was seven of swords. Again, it's not, it's, it's five of swords. I think I have a mosquito bite in my head or ear. It's so itchy. Shit. Okay. Nine of Cups. One second. Hey, sorry about that, Libra. I had mom duty. Oh, I just unpaused it. It was 11 11. Very nice master numbers for Libra okay so here's the thing for you Libras that are single I don't see you being single for very much longer I mean I guess the choice is completely up to you at this point but here's the thing we have the seven of cups and remember I told you there was a side energy that came out this is the side energy seven of cups which is the energy of like having a lot of options a lot of options a lot of options <laughs> in the love department so but there's also this really restless energy coming up with the page of swords there's this energy of someone like really 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 like really 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 <laughs> wanting to come up and like I don't know like talk to you like make a message um make a message send a message like a text or i i i feeling very like antsy you know it's almost like they really really feel i was gonna say anxious but that's not the right word i guess like restless and wanting to come forward like ASAP if that makes sense um I feel like they were been watching you they have god I cannot talk sorry I had mom duty and I'm just like now I'm just like <laughs> I'm all discombobulated so um I feel like they've been watching you and wanting to make a move for a long time and they haven't for whatever reason um but it feels like they, they cannot, like, hold it back any longer. The card that came out right after that is, look, Eight of Wands. <laughs> so, it's like this energy of coming forward, like, quickly. You know, and, like, the Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords is always, like, the action cards for me. Um, they could be a little bit overly logical, though. Like, tending, tend, tending to overanalyze things too much, Libra. So, just be aware of that energy. Um, I feel like though there's going to be a lot of competition with this number. I told you you're going to have lots of options. Look, this is the competition card. This is, you know, I like to call it like the <clears throat> whose dick is bigger card. You know, like the men taking out their wangs and being like, mine's bigger. No, mine's bigger. No, choose me. No, choose me. And you're just going to be like, whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry. But that's the energy though. But, you know, it's, it's. But it's not just like masculine energy. It's like feminines competing for you. Masculines competing, you know, for the feminines. It's just competition overall in general. And it's because you on fire, Libra. Okay. Let me just say that. Um, and all of this, um, you're going to have plenty of options to choose from. One of them is going to be your person because I seen that with the two of cups, right? Okay. And look, we have nine of fucking cups. So, wish fulfillment. This person is going to be everything that you've ever wanted and more, um, Libra. And it's funny. There's this, just this energy of, like, the cat that licked the cream. Like, you're going to be so 
overly excited when this comes in because you're going to be like, dude, this has been a long time coming and it's about fucking time and, you know, I deserve this shit. <laughs> And, you know, it's going to piss a lot of people off and you're going to be like, I don't give a shit. I mean, look at this, dude. He's like, it's about time, bitch. And he's just like, <laughs> it's going to make a lot of people upset because they're not going to, they're not going to want to see you happy because they're selfish. They're going to watch you all to themselves, but maybe they should have stepped up. Tell them to say about that shit. All right, let's do your spirit message. I'm kidding. You could not go up there. No. Okay. All right, can we get um, a spirit message for Libra, please? I already did. There is a little... What are you doing on my tarot deck? No, you don't. Excuse me. Is that a beetle? There's a beetle crawling on my deck. Look at this. Can you see him? <laughs> he's just like I'll do what I want no you don't that's my deck what the hell is that another bug <laughs> it's like bug city up in here okay get off me now <laughs> he's like no I crawl on you now I like you <laughs> oh no okay you gotta get down buddy I'm sorry there you go okay I didn't hurt him okay oh bye bye little friend <laughs> Sorry, I'm such a nature lover. Okay, so a spirit message for Libra, please. Mm, there we go. There he goes. Mm. This is kind of my other deck. Listen here. <laughs> you better get off my... He just climbed all over my light seer's hero now. It's funny because I just took that deck out. Because, um, oh shit, hold on, I want to hit the floor. Oh, so I thought I paused it and I didn't. Sorry. <laughs> oh my god. It's so stupid. Alright, so I just took my light seer's deck out. Um, and I was going to use it, but then I decided not to. So I was looking around and I'm like, what did I do with my light seers deck? I know I brought three tarot decks out and then just now I took the deck out because I was like, well, I might decide to use it later. And I set it out, I set it over to the side, but I haven't used it yet. Um, and I just read for Aries, but I didn't use it for my Aries reading. And this little bug just <laughs> started climbing on it and walking on it. And it's funny because he was just on this deck. He likes tarot. Maybe he was a tarot reader in a past life. I don't know. Okay. So, um, we had one card hit the floor. I'll, I'll call it a side energy. It's Scorpio. So, you might have Scorpio on your chart. Your person might have Scorpio in their chart. Most likely, your person has Scorpio in their chart. Dark hair. <laughs> Listen here, little tiny one. It's another bug. Okay, so we have, the answer is not right now, but soon. Okay. We have Scorpio, and then we have dark hair. So, those are your spirit messages. Your person's possibly a Scorpio. They have Scorpio in their chart. I mean, I don't know. Uh, maybe you do. And then dark hair. So, look for someone with dark hair. And the answer is not right now, but soon. <laughs> so if that was, if, if you wanted to know if, if the answer, what was the answer to your question, that's the answer to your question. It's not a no, <laughs> but it's not right now. <laughs> so soon. All right, let's do the Who Oracle to give you, actually, no. Let's do your shadows, then we'll do your who oracle, and then we'll leave. La la la. La 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 la. <laughs> I cannot function. Okay. We will do your shadow message first, and then we'll do your who oracle, 
And then we will do your, um, where is it at? Spirit message. There. It's over there. Ah. Oh, God. Bug in my eye. Okay. My cat is snoring. He's snoring. He's right next to me and he's snoring. That's so funny. Okay, I wonder if my phone is charged now. Hold on. It is. I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to unplug this. Charge it. Ow. Oh, my God. Okay. Where is the safety plug for that damn thing? Oh. Well, it's not a safety plug, but... I did have a safety plug in it. No, I just have a SpongeBob. <laughs> Nightlight. Okay. I'm getting distracted. Okay. Shadows for Libra. Fucking A. God. La, la, la. There we go. Four cards. Oh, my wrist hurts. Too much shuffling. <laughs> Four cards for Libra, please. You know you do way too much tarot when your damn wrist hurts when you because you're shuffling all the time. Whoa, Libra, Libra, Libra. Dang, shadow like a mug, huh? Okay, three more, please, for Libra. <laughs> it's like Eve in the apple. <laughs> it's number fifty-five, bad choices, <clears throat> and. She's taking an apple off a tree and eating it. <laughs> now listen here, Eve. What you doing? <laughs> I love you guys so much. Oh my God. Why do you have so many shadows? There's so many. Uh, one more, please. Hold on. Oh, Libras. Please tell me this is not going to be a shadow. Oh, my God. I thought we would get at least one gift. And they're all shadows. Okay. Let's go through these. Okay. So. Hold on one second. I wanted to make sure. I think it was just geese flying by. But I wanted to make sure that our chickens weren't in danger. Because we have chickens and roosters. Okay, so we have 55 um, bad choices. If you add it up, it's 5 and 5. It's 10, okay? It's, it's, it's about making choices that are not right for you. Choices that do not fit your soul. Um... So the way to face that shadow is to check in with your soul whenever you're going to make a decision, Libra. Um, check in with your soul before you move forward. Make sure that your choices are not coming from a place of ego. <clears throat> and just like I said, check in with your soul. and Make sure that it's coming from your actual soul's calling and not from up here or from, you know, any other place. I hope you can hear me over the air conditioner. But if you look, she's eating this apple from a tree and there's a worm coming out of it. So she picked the wrong apple and it had a worm in it. <laughs> that apple was not for her. It was yucky. <clears throat> okay. So we have 61 fantasy. Okay. Um, if you add it up, it's number seven. And so this shadow is about, um, and it, don't get me wrong, it's really, really good to fantasize when you're trying to manifest and things like that. But to sit there and live in fantasy land and think, like, this is what's going to happen and to sort of live in, like, a delusion or an illusion is, is you know, then it's a shadow. So, sorry, there was another bug crawling <laughs> Another bug crawling on. It was a little tiny fruit fly crawling on my Angels and Oracles book. So when we get off into fantasy land, then it shows that we're not grounded in reality. So like I said, there's no problem. Hello, little friend. 
So he's landed on me. There's a little fruit fly. Um, I keep hearing things. I'm so sorry. I'm so distracted during your reading, Libra. Um, so make sure that when this shadow comes up, this tendency to sort of live in a la la type land or into you know giving into wanting to give into feelings of illusions and things that are not based in reality that we bring ourselves back to reality ground by you know doing household chores or you know for those of you that have children take care of your children you know going to work things like that which helps us sort of ground back into reality and you know when you are an enlightened being it's very easy to get sort of lost in like the 6d reality dimensions um it's very normal you know we all do it so it's not necessarily a bad thing but it's coming up as a shadow so be aware of that okay all right and if you look at this card it's um a male he's sort of daydreaming about um laying in a hammock with a uh, feminine and you know Maybe he's daydreaming about this woman and he doesn't even have a woman. So, you know, it's like it's about being being grounded as to like where, um, you know, the reality starts and the fantasy begins. Does that make sense? OK, so the next shadow we have is fear and it's number 80. So it's just it's number eight. So this could be for like a life path number eight or however it resonates with you. Um, but so this is the, the shadow of fear. <clears throat> now it's very easy to let our fear sort of run us. If you look at the card, it's a, um, female and she is sort of shrinking away from something she perceives to be a monster. Now, you know, this is nothing that cannot be, um, solved with, you know, without, um, this is nothing that can't be solved, you know, when, um, I'm trying to figure out a way to put this without like, okay. So the way to deal with the shadow of fear is to either work on your root chakra, which, you know, sort of, um, is where all of our fear is sort of stored is in the root chakra. Now, if you feel grounded to earth, and safe in that root chakra it sort of will get rid of all of the fears that you have of sort of living life excuse me and oftentimes the fear is caused by things in our mind which we perceive to be scary and generally it's not the actual thing that's scary it's it's something about whatever it is that we've created this monster in our mind of what makes it scary so for example um i used to have like um extreme fear and anxiety of leaving my house and it actually got so bad that at one point i didn't leave my house for like four months and <clears throat> I had, I had, so I had basically created this monster in my head of like, when I leave my house, people are staring at me, people are judging me, people are thinking ill things of me. And it basically created this paranoia and this monster um, that was not accurate. And the more I went out and focused on what I had to do and focused on myself and how I was feeling instead of like what other people were thinking or what you know their perceptions of me were um i tended to go out and focus more on what i needed to do and get done for that day and you know i focused on taking care of my children when i was out and i realized that most of these monsters and perceptions and fears were all in my head so an example that, that's just a little example to like sort of give you so that you can sort of see what the shadow of fear looks like most often it's just a perception of something we've created to be scary in our head and it's not real okay so that's how to deal with that shadow 
And then the last shadow that came up for you, Libra, was is bad attitude. <laughs> it's, it's funny. I'm sorry. It's just it made me giggle because she's throwing. She's it's a female, and she's throwing all these hearts into the trash. She's like, "You love me, bye, bitch. You love me too, bye, bitch. You love me, okay. <laughs> I'm easy to love, bye, bitch." <laughs> so funny. Okay. <laughs> That's so hilarious. She's just a trail of broken hearts in the trash. <laughs> oh my God, Libra. Okay. Uh, so six and four, if you add it up, it's 10. <laughs> it's just number one. So basically, there. so this is shadow of sort of being... And I'm not, I'm totally not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you, dude. You know, I have one of my best female friends in the whole entire world. I swear to God, I could not love her anymore. Um, you know, if, if it was possible, I'm telling you. Um, she goes by the Fascinating Fairy. And she has her own tarot channel. So if you ever want to check out her channel, you should check it out. She's amazing. Um, but, you know her and I are, are just so, so close. And I have, um, a male, one of my male best friends who is a Libra too. So it's like, you know, uh, I couldn't love two people more in the world, I think. And so it's, I'm not, I'm definitely not laughing at you. I'm laughing with you. It's, it's beautiful energy, but it's just, it's funny as well. Okay. So there's a shadow of sort of um, this energy of no one sort of meeting up to your expectations. Um, you know, it's like a lot of people may find you attractive and want to love you. And yet you're like, they're not good enough. They're not good enough. You're not good enough. This <laughs> and you're just breaking the hearts left and right. I mean, you're literally throwing people's hearts in the garbage. So... <laughs> Be careful of this. <clears throat> be careful of this attitude of being too um, frivolous, I guess, with people's hearts. Realize that you are so adorable and so lovable, Libra. And because of that, you 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 can do damage without even meaning to. And I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know that Libras do not have a mean bone in their body. They would never, ever, like, the Libras I know at least, never, ever hurt anyone intentionally. But because you are so lovable and people just fall in love with you, you know, and and you're just boss bitch attitude with it, right? You can sort of just brush it off and be very nonchalant about, about things and, you know, and therefore, you know, people's feelings can get hurt in, you know, without you even meaning to, you know, not even on purpose. So just be aware of that, um, you know, because I mean, it's coming across as a bad attitude. And, you know, I what I know of Libra, you guys, you don't have, there's no bad attitudes there. <laughs> okay. So, um, but, you know, nonetheless, it's coming up as a shadow. So just be aware of that energy. And the way that you can sort of um, deal with that shadow is, you know, allow people to feel the way they feel. You know, for example, if someone comes and says, you know, I feel this way, then try to be kind. If you don't feel the same way about them, of course, like you're not going to pretend to love them if you don't. Right. But what I'm saying is sort of let them down easy instead of going like, well, of course you love me, bitch. You know what I mean? <laughs> All I'm saying, because look, it's like they're saying, don't throw my heart in the trash can. And you're like, it's already there. <laughs> so, oh, that's so funny. I can't. All right. So, um, we already did your one spirit message. We're going to do your who oracle, <laughs> your other spirit message. And we're going to call this reading. Oh my God, that's funny. All right. So let's get some more character traits for... Um, our single Libras who are looking for love in all the wrong places. <laughs> and tell them who to look for. 
I'm delirious now. It's too late. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> Normally, I don't stay up these, this late doing readings, but the time got away from me. And, oh, Lord. All right, here we go. <clears throat> Blah. Four. Again? Didn't we just get... Didn't we just get this card? Medium or dark hair? I swear to God, we just got that. Did we get it? Okay, I'm, I'm going to have to look because we did. We got it right here. <laughs> dark hairs. <laughs> okay, so your person has dark hair. <laughs> Medium or dark hair, dark hair. You cannot make that shit up. I'm not making it up. You, you watched me shuffle. Well, you can't see me shuffling, but I swear to God, <laughs> y'all know my character. I'm not going to compromise shit by, that's what came out. <laughs> All right. I was just surprised that it came out again. <laughs> my chapstick is done. It's like, <laughs> it's so, blah, blah, blah. it's so slippery. Okay, Libra, feel free to unsubscribe. <laughs> all sorts of fucked up tonight <laughs> I ever since I saw the hearts in the trash can I can't stop laughing I'm just like I'm dead performing arts okay two more oh I swear to god y'all Libras y'all probably hate me <laughs> I, I always seem to get crazy on you guys' reading I don't know why fire sign oh damn <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, shit. Last one. Adolescence? <laughs> Your person younger than you? <laughs> oh, my God. Or they have children. Okay. So, we have medium or dark hair, which came out twice. So, Spirit is saying, hello, pay attention. Your person has dark hair. <laughs> and it's it's... Medium or dark hair, medium, I guess medium would be, I don't know if it's like the length, you know, so it's like medium would be like here, or if they're saying like, you know, medium color, like, I don't know, because <laughs> it says medium or dark, so, you know, it would either be dark hair or like something maybe in between, like a dark brown or something, okay, and then we have performing arts, so maybe your person is a performer, Maybe they're an actor. Maybe they're a musician. I don't know. It, it says performing arts. Somehow they're in the public eye and they perform. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and then we have a fire sign. So it's possible that your person is a fire sign um, where they have fire in their charts. And then we have this one, a doll sense. So, I mean, a doll sense to me is like a teenager. So... I don't know, maybe your person has, like, you know, children, um, teenage children, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, because for me, the word adolescence is, like, young adult. I don't know, or maybe they're in their 20s. I, I have no clue. Um, so, take that how it resonates. Eh, okay. There that be. Let's do your spirit message. This reading has gotten way too long. It's, like, 38 minutes. It was just 3838 on my phone. Can you guys get any more number codes? Angel codes? You couldn't if you tried. Alright, I think I'll read for either Virgo or Scorpio. And I'm gonna call it a night. So Alright, let's see what we got. Last reading message for Libra, please. I do hear my chicken. I hear my rooster. Okay. You know it's early when the damn rooster's crowing. <laughs> damn it, Libra. I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I just snorted. Oh, God. I'm such a nerd. Medicine, mother. Honor your inner knowing. Okay. This is about following your intuition, I believe, again. I'm going to look it up. We're going to read it right here. Medicine mother, take action. Do what you know you need to do. It literally says do what you know you need to do. What do you need to do, Libra? 
<laughs> I have no idea. Mother always knows best, they say, and it's true. We all know a maternal figure who's extremely intuitive and insightful. And this medicine mother has gone through many ups and downs. She has lived and she has lost. She knows what it's like to suffer and to want to give up. So the medicine of this card is that it's okay to make mistakes and get it wrong sometimes. And it's okay for things to come to an end. It's not the end of the world. It's just the end of one chapter and the beginning of something new. It is, Libra. Um... The medicine, I'm sorry, this chapstick is bothering me. It gets, it starts to get sticky and then it feels weird. So it's, it's bothering my lips. So if you see me doing, ugh, messing with my lips, that's why. I don't like it when it gets sticky. Sorry, I'm getting distracted again. Okay, so the medicine mother reminds you that, and, uh, and all you females know what I'm talking about when your chapstick or your lip gloss gets sticky, it's gross. Okay. The medicine mother reminds you that even though you will have low lows, you aren't here to suffer. You're here to be supported and to support others. Let her give you the loving encouragement to take the next step forward. There is an old pattern rising up in you now and it's time to deal with it and release it for good. You're being encouraged to love and respect yourself enough to take the steps you know you need to take to move closer to where you'd like to be. You already know the answers. Whoa, spirit, excuse you? <laughs> you already know the answer. They got all beastie with you, jeez. Okay, you know what you need to do. There they go again. I'm gonna need y'all to stop yelling at Libra, okay? You may have been using delay tactics or holding back, but now you are being guided to take action. Action requires courage, but your angels and guides are bringing you the courage to move forward. Take just one step. When you do, the next one will be presented to you. Okay. <laughs> there you go, Libra. I love you so much. Um, so if you are a past subscriber, thank you for coming back. If you are a new subscriber, I hope you enjoyed this reading. And um, all of these readings are timeless. So whenever you find it, it's for you. If you click on the little arrow um, over here under the under my videos, it pops up my description box. Um, I have a new website, so it makes it really easy for you guys to book a reading with me. Um, it's got all of my prices and services and everything. My tip jars down there. My Patreon's linked below. My Etsy shop is there. If you guys want to purchase some of my sexy bath salts, <laughs> those are new. Um, those are new that I just put um in my shop so they smell so yummy and all of my bath salts are charged for tantric sexuality and romance so <laughs> yes they're good what else check out my son's channel all right um he works hard on his channel his channel is linked in my description box below as well I think that's it. I love you, Libra. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>